Uh, hi dear students in this video we will discuss uh, arithmetic operations on function and domain so uh, we have to just check uh, what uh, factor of arithmetic operations on uh, domain so uh, i already explained about the arithmetic operations on function which are uh, i explained in my previous video so in this video we will discuss uh, what a uh, fact of arithmetic operation on function uh, on our domain so the arithmetic function f plus g let f and g be to just right here let f and g be given functions then f plus g on x which is equals to f of x plus g of x similarly whenever here is minus here is minus so f g whenever two functions are multiplied then it becomes like f of x into g of x and whenever two functions are in the form of division in form of fraction then we can write it f of x divided by g of x so these are the arithmetic operations on our function now we have to find the uh, domain of uh, domain of, of our new function so to find the domain of uh, uh, arithmetic function uh, which uh, um, arithmetic operations on a function and domain so uh, what is the domain of f plus g of x so what is the domain of f g of x so to find the domain just we uh, for the function f plus g f minus g f g uh, we define the domain to be intersection of the domain of f and g so we just uh, uh, intersection the domain of f and domain of g the intersection of uh, the intersection of domain of f and g are the domain of f plus g f minus g and f g let's suppose i uh, i have an example related to this uh, topic which is uh, let's suppose we have f of x that is equals to 1 plus x minus 2 square root and g of x is equals to x minus 3 so these are the example uh, these are the given function f of x and g of x now we apply or uh, here them some arithmetic operation and then we have to find the domain of this function so if we uh, take a uh, the domain of f of x we know about the domain of f of x when our the square root terms come in our function then uh, some condition are imposed on our function uh, so we have to make the term under the radical sign must be uh, greater than equals to zero so this uh, this uh, square root is greater than equal to zero for all the values uh, to greater than two for all the values of x which is equals to two and greater than two so domain of f of x is i just write here domain of f of x uh, which is equals to uh, which is start from two to positive infinity because at a 2 it gives us 0 at 3 it gives us 1 and similarly it gives us positive uh, numbers so uh, whenever we put a min uh, 1 here so it becomes a negative and uh, we cannot allow uh, in our domain which make the radical sign as a complex so domain of f of x is 2 to uh, positive infinity and now we write the domain of g of x domain of g of x uh, so the domain of g of x is all set of real number because there is no such a condition uh, uh, imposed on our function because there is here is no a radical sign here is no a fraction term so we can put any number in our uh, uh, function g of x so the domain of g of x is such as minus infinite to positive infinite so that is the domain of g of x now dear students uh, we have to uh, find the domain of f plus g so f first of all uh, we have to find the f plus g on x which is equals to f of x plus g of x so f of x what is our f of x which is equals to x minus 2 and we have to add uh, the next function g of x which is equals to x minus 3 so whenever we add this function the result uh, will be uh, x uh, minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 plus 
x minus 2 so this is our new function which is f plus g of x so this is our new function and uh, the domain of this function will be the intersection of f and g the domain of f of x and g of x so the intersection of these uh, uh, two domains so i just uh, i just mention here the, uh, the domain of i just draw here a real line uh, such as the real line let's suppose this is our real line and here is zero and here is uh, one two and positive infinite and here is minus infinite so uh, i just change the color to draw the domain of uh, f of x i use the purple color which is start from here from here to positive infinite that is a domain of f of x f of x domain of f of x now we uh, have to draw the domain of g of x i just uh, uh, i just write with another color so the domain of g of x is minus infinite to positive infinite. it will be like as the whole real line so what is the common part of these two domain the common part is just uh, from here to from here to a positive minus a positive infinite from here to positive sorry here is positive infinite so here to positive infinite that is the common part so the domain of f plus g we have to find the intersection of both domains so domain of f plus g is just i write here domain of f plus g of x is uh just uh, is is intersection of f of x uh, domain of f of x and domain of g of x so it will be equals to 0 to uh, sorry 2 2 is, is here is 2 so 2 2 positive infinite so that is the domain of f plus g similarly when we uh, apply the uh, minus operator here uh, f minus g then same procedure uh, the domain of f minus g will be the same and uh, in, in multiplication also we have to take the intersection but whenever we apply the, the fraction term the uh, division term uh, let's uh, force uh, plus minus and multiplication uh, the procedure of dom finding domain is same but whenever the uh, here comes the uh, fraction term let's suppose we have to find the function f over g of x that will be equals to f of x divided by g of x so which is equals to our f of x is 1 plus x minus 2 divided by g of x is x minus Three. So here, uh, dear students, here we have to just uh, care about the denominator should be uh, uh, non-zero because when our denominator is become zero and then our uh, function is undefined, so we cannot allow any uh, input value for which our function is undefined. So the domain of this function to find the domain of this uh, type of function, which is uh, in the form of division, we just uh, explit the point 3 so in our domain the 3 is not be allowed so domain of f of i just write here domain of f over g of x it's uh, the there's no uh, we not, cannot uh, include the point x is equals to 3 so 3 is not our in a, our part of our domain so the domain of this function is the intersection of these and also we cannot include the point 3 so uh, our domain uh, of uh, this uh, intersection of these domains are uh, from start 2 to infinite but here it is start to start from 2 to 3 3 is not included we use just uh, uh, open interval union from 3 to positive infinite that is the domain of our function f of f over g of x here student i just explain again i just ex exclude the point 3 in our intersection or domain of f of x and g of x because at 3 uh, the, our function is undefined uh, f of g is undefined 
so that's why we uh, uh, exclude the point three. So uh, to uh, if if this video is informative for you, uh, please subscribe my channel and press the icon button and share with your class fellow. Thank you for watching.